Hi, I'm George Urshala, author of Going Underground, American Punk, 1979 to 1989. Here's a third version of a book I initially did in 2005 and 2006, which has been out of print for a few years. I'm doing a Kickstarter campaign to finance the printing of the new edition because, like previous two editions that I put out on my own press, I believe this should be put out on my own press, too, to show the powers of DIY. More than just a reprint, this third edition will be a fully updated and revised version that features information, interviews, and over 50 new photos and images unique to the printing. The product of over seven years of research, Going Underground focuses on the original American hardcore scene that erupted across the U.S. in the 80s. Hundreds of bands like Government Issue, The Big Boys, Naked Ray Gun, TSOL, SSD Control, Circle Jerks, Bad Brains, Marginal Man, Heart Attack, Black Flag, Adrenaline OD, Electric Love Muffin, Articles of Faith, The Dicks, Kraut, Angry Samoans, Husker Du, The Hated, as well as bands who are part of the punk scene but not stereotypically hardcore, like The Gun Club, The Proletariat, The Last, The Minutemen, The Wipers, Mortal Micronauts, The Volcano Suns, Butthole Surfers, Agent Orange, Scrawl, and many more. One of the greatest thing about punk in the 80s is that it was everywhere. So I talk not only about the larger cities like DC, LA, New York, and San Francisco, but also dug deeper into the smaller scenes like Cincinnati, Norman, Reno, Austin, Philadelphia, Lawrence, and more. Places that often get shortchanged in punk history books. To tell this story, I had conducted dozens upon dozens of original interviews with people like John Stabb, Jack Grisham, Gary Floyd, Jack Rabbit, Joe Nolte, Janet Houston, Ben Diley, Kara Rossler, Kenny Inouye, Rob Lukejack, Sue Harsh, Dick Bondi, Penelope Houston, and a lot more exclusively for the book. It also relied heavily on zines, lots of zines. Zines were the only documentation of punk rock as it was happening, people's thoughts fresh and raw, uncluttered by the fog of time. There's an immediacy in those stories that just can't be gotten any other way, and they form the true guts of the book. It was important to me that Going Underground be graphically rich as well as a great read, and one of my favorite things has been getting to share so many never-seen-before photographs. Some really amazing photographers from all over the U.S. opened up their archives to me, like the late Dixon Colborne, Marie Kanger Bourne, Malcolm Riviera, Trent Nelson, Jeff Cordner, Justina Davies, Cindy Hicks, and Brian Trudell. One of the coolest things about the new edition is that the entire thing will be printed on glossy paper, making the images really pop. I've also included hundreds of original flyers and art throughout the entire book, which really helps show off the stylistic diversity present in all the various punk scenes and communities of the day. All of the previous self-published volumes of Going Underground are now totally out of print, so my goal here on Kickstarter is to raise enough money to pre-sell 500 copies and fund the third edition, sized as a 340-page 7x10 softcover. This way I can keep the project completely DIY and connect directly with the people reading it without having to go through a mainstream publishing house. For a $30 Kickstarter pledge, I'm offering a signed and numbered copy of the book and a random surprise gift from my vast collection of punk paraphernalia. A few months before he died, Randy Biscuit Turner of the Big Boy sent me a wild care package of all kinds of cool strange oddities as thanks for putting them on the cover of previous volumes. And I want to thank my readers with the same kind of spirit. Outside the U.S., those who pledge $50 can get the book mailed anywhere in the world. Thanks for checking out my campaign and hope you buy a copy of Going Underground.